Good morning guys, today is officially another day of fitness. Who's excited? Me, I'm excited. I didn't get enough sleep, but I got enough to like function right now, but I think I'm going on like the crazy train. But with that being said, your girl's gonna jump in the shower. My makeup is like two days old, so like we're just gonna deal with that. And then um, I'm gonna sit down, talk to you guys. And then we're gonna go through the day. It's basically a day in the life though. So I found this app, it's called Well Tori. And it, it looks like this. I don't know if my phone's gonna, okay, it looks like this. It's the one that's next to the monkey one, like right here with this finger by my fitness, or Matt my run. Um, this is what the app looks like when you open it and you can see the crack on my phone. So this app that I'm using right now is called Welltory and basically Welltory is one that like is an app that like measures your stress levels and your energy levels and I did not know that iPhones could track your beats per minute and it's pretty cool how it does it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys, but I have the pl paid plan on mine. So basically this app tells you like things about your nervous system, it tells you your heart rate, the normal range is like 55 to 80. It shows that I have a solid cardiovascular system reserves from my results and then my heart rate's variably on the high end. This could be normal for me though. Yeah, like my total power for today is pretty good. They said that it's like, you know, not bad at all. It's an excellent indicator. Now what I'm gonna do is take it for today. Okay, so it says to measure, so you just select the heart rate monitor. So my heart rate's much higher than normal, like than what it was before. I think it's because I'm getting a workout by holding it up. Basically, it just like shines a light in here. So right now it's kind of high. And it's telling me, do not move, do not move. And it literally just says that over and over. And then it tells you if you're doing really well. Wow, my beats per minute is pretty high, you guys. Like right now, I'm trying not to talk to you guys because that adds to this. Yeah, so <laughs> now it's processing. Mine yesterday was at night and then this is for this morning. How do you feel? And then I feel, I don't feel bad at all. Um, how is your mood? My mood's good. What's going on today? Um, a lot. Illness, because I'm kind of sick. Workout, meal. Um, and it also lets you pick like if you're on your period, PMSing, pregnancy, chatting, meeting, walk, sex. Like it basically lets you do whatever you want, like pain, drugs, uh, going out, studying, meditation, worry, massage, music. So it says my stress level is a 10%, heart rate is 72 beats per minute, my energy level is a 91%. So I'm actually, I feel like that's pretty, pretty true to it because I just woke up a little bit ago. And then it says looking good, you have plenty of energy. So there's like videos and stuff, which I like, and then there's one that you can read. There's a few, there's um, six different ones. So it's kind of nice because like if you have the morning and you want to just like relax, you can listen to those and like, you know, get your day going. Um, and with that being said, let's get on to the rest of the day. So academic advising here on Wednesdays and Thursdays is walk-ins. So what I'm doing right now is going to walk-ins because I don't have an appointment because they are completely booked for this week. But they told me like the best bet was just to come in now and like not book for next week. So this is the academic office, the advising office. Hopefully it's open now. Yeah, it is. We're good. So the nine day thing. Yeah. Did. It's to Belize and you get three hours of credit. Of electric credit? Mm hmm Oh, that's good. What do you want to do with this degree? How's the workout going? Good. I'm like back full throttle in the gym, which is nice. Humanities class. Make sure you take the humanities that is a history. Okay. So you can pair this up with that. I took a religion, so then when I take that, I take a history humanities? Well, the religions is a global and a mm -hmm. history, so our global and a humanities. So it's covering, it's counting that and it's counting that, which is uh -huh. good, but you need six hours of humanities. So keep going on that? Well, the next time you do a humanities, don't take a regular one. Uh, uh -huh. Take a historical awareness of humanities. Okay, so, so an you H? Double dip. Yeah, an H. So you're double dipping right now. You want to double dip that out, so I don't have to count it. So I just finished up with academic advising. It was super great. It took like 30 minutes. We kind of figured out that I want to do a minor and it's really easy to throw in a minor so I'm just going to either minor in media al analysis or in uh, nutrition so that's kind of like my biggest debate. I only have to decide until February so until then I'm chilling. Um, I'm not sure if I should jaywalk or not so I'm not going to. 
Thank you so much. How's your day going? No, it fits it in a second. This is crazy. What do you think it is? What do you think? Oh, am I? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> Look at that. You good? <laughs> Finished with class, and now I'm just sitting in the class that I just had my lecture. Ryan's doing his math homework. Macy's over there doing her stuff. I'm over here. I'm actually writing my essay for this class because we had about an hour. Um, we're going to head down in like 35 minutes or whatever, and then I'm going to go to the bathroom and go to my next class, which is math. But I just want to show you guys, like, these lecture halls, if they end early, are completely empty. And they're super easy to get, like, to stay in and just do your work. And I think a lot of people, like, don't think about that. But that's one thing. This is in the Cronkite building, too. So I'm just chilling here, writing my essay. And they're doing work, too. Like, the big thing is you just have to find friends that, like, kind of have a similar schedule to you. And, like, same classes so that you can chill with them in between. Um... But yeah, so I'm going to write that and then I'll check in with you guys when I'm probably going to class. I have another 30 minutes of this and hopefully, fingers crossed, I get a lot of this done. Currently in Math 117. That's just college algebra with Henry. We're chilling. And then they have like groups up here. And then you like sit in your group, do your worksheet today. So that's what we're going to do. So yeah. Just got done with class. Now I'm going to head... I don't even know what time it is actually. It's 12.26. So... I have like about an hour till my English class starts, but I'm just gonna go over there now and like get started on stuff. And also, um, that class was like pretty chill and pretty easy. The only thing is now what I have to do is I have to like walk over to that class. I'm working on a lecture paper. So like, I'm gonna go and find a little spot, like sit and just like work on that, like diligently because I've been so distracted and I can't, I can't keep getting distracted because today is like one of those days that like I'm just trying to get my shit done and you know since my math class got out early I'm just waiting for my English class and I have like an hour to kill now so what I'm gonna do is work on my lecture like essay that I have to do it's like a write-up of like the lecture I just went to and then um, after that English is gonna be a thing and um yeah like that's basically what i'm doing anytime you have like time in between classes like what i like to do is just like get other work done i don't go back to my dorm i don't like take a nap or anything if i have like more than two hours i'll go to the gym if not i like sit and do homework because it's the easiest way to just get things done and like stay productive so i'm still working on the thing i was working on earlier and um yeah so this is like what i'm looking at right now it's like this there's my English class and then like and then like we're like in this big room in Health North that you just like sit and kind of wait it's like lobby well, I'm gonna go pee just so you know so like I'm gonna leave my stuff here I just finished up at the writing center got all of my tutoring done I even got my essay done so I feel really good right now um, it's for my religion class and it was really sunny just now. So now I'm going back to my dorm. I have yet to eat today. So I'm going to show you guys like what I'm eating, what I'm doing. After a long day of classes, I have it angled this way so you guys can't see the room numbers. But like after a long day of classes, now I'm officially going back to my room. I'm going to chill for a second, text Elena and have her come over. I should probably open this just so I can get some real light. There we go. All right guys, so I went to the grocery store and I'm wearing like a random long sleeve right now because I was really cold there. So I'm gonna show you guys what I got. I got only a few things that are like staple pieces for myself. So the first thing I got was the original flavored instant oatmeal because I am planning on starting to incorporate protein powder and then the original flavor. And this is 100 uh, calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 18 grams of carbs, and four grams of protein. So once I put in like a scoop of chocolate or cookies and cream or whatever I decide to choose for um, oatmeal, that's gonna add more protein to it. The next thing is the strawberries and cream instant oatmeal. And this is just when I want flavor, but not like as many calories or from not like, you know, eat, I don't know. This is just when I feel like having something different than protein powder in mine. 
Then I picked up one Lenny and Larry's Complete Cookie. These are $2 more downstairs than they are at the grocery store. So I picked up one for when I really have a sweet tooth and I'll eat like half of it and then like I'll eat the other half later, later in the day. And then I also picked up a muscle milk protein bar and the reason I got this one was just because I wanted to try it and like you know when you're interested in trying protein bars and you're like I'm not gonna probably eat this like as a staple piece or anything like that but I just wanted to try it out so I got that one it just looks like this I got that one though it looks like that then I got the typical um think thin bars I used to love these I still actually love them but like these have been a staple in my life forever I got two different flavors lemon delight and then creamy peanut butter I got two of the cream and peanut butter and one lemon delight and this will last me like about two weeks um because i only have like a, a protein bar like once a day or every other day and then i got two of the cliff builders protein bars but these are just because since i am doing if it if it fits my macros this is a really good dessert option because it's chocolate peanut butter and it has 20 grams of protein and 29 grams of carbs so it's pretty even with the mat and it's a little higher in the carbs but that's okay but with that being said i also picked up some more gallons of water and then i picked up the 2.5 gallons because i use them i'm gonna take you guys so you can see this so this is how i set it up to be healthier in college so i buy these 2.5s and i put them over here so i'm almost done with well i'm not almost done like i'm getting closer to being done with this one and i leave them here it's so easy to like just fill up a gallon then and then I bought four new gallons with the screw lids so that then I could start drinking out of those. But but that is what I got at the grocery store and I will talk to you guys later. I'm actually going to sit down, chill for a second, catch my breath because I had to carry all that stuff up with uh, Katie's help. I also have more Starbucks because you know I'm a Starbucks addict. And this is just the green tea, light ice, no sweetener. Um, and then, then it's Trenta. So with that being said. All right guys, so I'm back in my dorm room. This is what I'm eating tonight, which is just a chicken sausage with zucchini. This is my first meal for like the night. I have another one and then I have a couple more things because personally for me, like as long as I hit my macros, I can eat when I want to. So with that being said, I'm gonna eat that now while I wait for Elena and then I'm gonna start homework and then yeah. Um, right now I'm drinking this. It's the lime flavored La Croix. I think that's how you say it. If I, if that's not how you say it, like the Croix, La Croix. Um, but I have Danny here. We're doing homework together, talking about life, you know, the usual college thing. But this is my current view out my window. <laughs> it's another building. It's so cute. But right now I'm actually working on my study abroad application. I know that a lot of you guys have been asking me, like, Sydney, are you planning to do it freshman year? Yes. So I am freshly showered. I even put on some makeup. This is crazy. But now that I've done that, I feel like I'm at 100% energy level. And I'm going to be taking some Umka cold care. I don't know if you guys can see it. I'm taking some of this because everyone is sick here right now and I'm not about to get sick because I just can't get sick so in order to finish up my gallon I'm just gonna to pour it into my gallon and then shake it up and drink it like it tastes good so it's not bad it'll just make it a lot easier to just drink that way so yeah I changed into an outfit for the gym if you guys are curious it says gains and then it's just like a top and then a pair of leggings because we're doing cardio today <laughs> and Katie's right there and now we're gonna take some pre-workout we got Aaron on the floor and I have my new headphones and it's not focusing on me right now focus but yeah so we're gonna go to the gym we're gonna do our thing and now we're gonna take some pre-workout so yeah She's gonna drink her pre-workout. <laughs> Hopefully she survives. Guys, I got mine. Mine's bang and hers is um Booty hole. <laughs> she says it smells like too. Okay, so I'm gonna drink mine right now. We're gonna Ooh. go to the gym. I already have pit stains. This is great. And I think my jacket's right here. So I have my jacket so I can put this on too. We got the jacket on. Okay guys, so I'm gonna drink mine. Katie's kind of being a right now, but it's fine. 
Alright guys, thanks so much for watching another episode of My Fitness. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on my Instagram, my Snapchat, and uh, if you guys want to sign up for my mailing list, feel free to do that too. But with that being said, I love you guys so much. I hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, babes!